Hello, everybody. So I figured Tina had to <clears throat> bake something today for tomorrow for uh, this um, good holy man celebration that we're going to do a bit early for my nephew and uh, my sister-in-law's nephews. So um, I will explain the whole good holy man holiday later because I know people are questioning it. But I'm not going to go in on that right now. <clears throat> what I baked today was a, uh, a stuffed uh, spekulaaskoek. People are like, what the F is that? It is kind of like a uh, cake filled with... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my, 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 my voice is gone today. My voice is like, no! Uh, it's pretty much a uh, cake filled with uh, almond paste and the outside is like a... I guess... Sort of to be compared to a ginger cookie, but it's not quite like a ginger cookie. It's really hard to explain. We call it speculas, and um, I think if you will look it up on Google, you will figure out. You might be able to figure out what it is. So, let go. I'm gonna I'm show you the. I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you now how I did it, and I hope you enjoy. If you like it, subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up. Sure. Yes. And feel free to leave a comment and all that good stuff and share it with your loved ones. And I think I already said that. Don't mind the repetitiveness. Alright, let's go. Hello, everybody. So today we're going, as I said, we're going to be baking a speckless a cookie, well, cookie cake thing, what you might call it, with uh, all my paste inside. We need an egg. A egg, a egg, a egg. <laughs> and we need a butter, like 150 grams of butter. We need the almond paste. Yes, look at the pretty almond paste. Look at the pretty almond paste. And of course, we need our hands. Read the description, open up the package. Ah, right, let go. We're going to put the powder into the mixing bin thingy, what you might wanna call it. I'm sorry, I'm not good at English terms. Take off your rings, of course. Very important. Let's get this butter. We need like 150 grams, like I said. Of course, it helps to have the utensils for it. I grabbed a knife. Yeah, it definitely would have helped. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me hold on, hold on. I almost forgot about the egg. I'm not good at cracking eggs. I ended up tossing a little bit of a peel in it. That's my mom in the background, by the way. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, like I said, it would have helped if I would have uh, let the butter become room temperature. Makes it easier to mix it up. So let's mix, 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 mix. Oops, I forgot something. I was supposed to add some water, like two tablespoons of water. I added a bit of water, I'm feeling. Mix a little more. Mix, 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 stuff is quite sticky, I have to tell you, so it does help to have some flour at hand. And the one thing that I kept doing, because there were still small lumps of butter in it, I was trying to mix those into the dough uh, still. As best as I could. That's what you get when I put in the butter at room temp- making sure the butter is at room temperature. I'm tripping all over my words. I'm sorry. Just going to keep mixing, going to keep kneading and stuff. And stickiness and and yes. Alright, time to clean the fingers. Try to take uh, as much off of your fingers as you can. Clean your fingers. 
Clean the counter after you put uh, the um, batter into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes so it can settle. Makes it easier to knead when you're going to put it into the tin. Yes, we're still going strong. But though, we're going to go for the am am da 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 da. amander spice. A little mint. Mix some mint thingy. I'm sorry, I'm bad at terms. That's the amander spice paste. It's sugary. It's quite sweet. Very delicious. Add like half an egg to that. Add two tablespoons of water to that. And mix that stuff. the egg and the water is uh, mixed well enough with the amander paste. Amander? Amander? Amander paste? Uh, amander? Why am I saying amander? Almond paste! Jeez. Every time again I'm washing my hands because I just don't like my just, you know, it's too sticky and you gotta... You don't want the stickiness to come all over your stuff that you need. the tin. Going to put the butter on the in, on the sides, which helps with it uh, not sticking to the edges. When you try to take it, no, when you try to take the cake from the tin, it's more like a cookie-like uh, cake. It's very delicious. It's very typical Dutch. Which it's something that we eat every year around uh, the Good Holy Man birthday. And then we grab the, the batter and then I realized I had to get some flour, it would make it easier so that it wouldn't stick to the counter. Just spread it out. Spread it out. Clean your hands, then you're gonna grab the batter and you're going to divide it into three pieces. For the butter for the butter for the bottom and for the edges. And the top, of course. I'm just going to press it all out until it's filled up the bottom. Just try to divide it as, e as evenly as you can, of course. This took some time to get that right because the stuff stays sticky. Don't want any holes in the batter, of course. There you go. Part two, we're going to go over the edges. I usually just divide it in small pieces so it's easier to add. And it's supposed to like uh, about an, mm, about an inch high. Just keep on doing bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. In pieces. I sped the video up for the most part, but otherwise it would be a video of like 45 minutes long, and y'all would be bored to death, I think. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun. Get some of the flour so it don't stick to your fingers. Just keep pushing it to the edges. That's my serious look, by the way. And my mom was talking to me in the background. <laughs> so one thing people always tell me when I'm where, when I'm busy and concentrated on something, I look cranky as hell. I'm not cranky, but I look cranky as hell. This process takes some time. Just 
round up the edges that were a little bit too thin. Ta -ta. Now we're going to put uh, the element paste into the middle and divide it as well as possible. At some point I realized it would be better to grab a spoon, which we'll see in a few. <laughs> I was trying to divide it with my fingers and I was like, oh, I better grab a spoon and make it wet and just push the almond paste out and just keep making it wet so it doesn't stick to the spoon. I wish you all could taste this though because that stuff is just divine. So good. Ta-da! Now we're going to do the top. Also that I do in pieces, put a little bit of flour on my hands so it don't stick to my hands of course. Just add a bit some pieces so that I can fi could fix the top completely. Only to realize I had a little bit too much batter on the side so I just had to grab the knife, make that one wet and push the sides down. Fixing up the cake some more. The cake, the cookie. Well, it's a really big cookie when you think about it. So I probably just wet my fingers and just made it more even, look pretty, you know. Gotta look good, right? There you go! Then you add the other half of the egg on top of it and then you spread that with the spoon until it's evenly divided for as much as possible. Cause that gives that nice crust on top. You can also add the almonds on top and there it is in the oven! Had it to be baked uh, for 50 minutes, that's how it ended up looking. Da da! <laughs> and that was Kimmy's cooking program. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> all that yummy, 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 yummy goodness. Yummy, very yummy goodness. So, yes. Like I said at the beginning, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you like it. And uh, subscribe to my channel. And, um... Yes, that was Friday's video. I keep thinking of new things. I hope you're liking the things that I've been doing so far. And I'm just going to keep going. And uh, I'm really enjoying making videos. If you like it, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your loved ones. I've said it like three or four times now. So it should be clear. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll talk to you and I'll see you, my lovely ones, my darlings, my, my munchkins, my pumpkins, my, my sugar muffins, <laughs> my kittens. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.